all in 2018. How can I forget about that? The Supreme drop, the Supreme collection dropped um, just the other day, the preview, and everyone's kind of going crazy over the usual stuff on there. Um, there's so much things. There's quite a few bits and bobs that I want to buy from the old collection. I'm going to kind of put up on the site. I'm going to put up actually on the screen so you guys can see. Um, again, I'm a big fan of Supreme. I always will be. I'm not sure. If, I think um, Jeff Staple mentioned it on the Bobby Hundreds podcast on the on the podcast with Bobby and um, Ben Hundreds that he's not sure if or not they're gonna continue to be a cool brand, right? Because they've got like investment in it. They've got they've now been they've now taken on outside investment, and you know it's kind of been like a quote unquote case study of like what what it is to be a modern brand if a modern brand can survive investment because most brands don't, right? Uh, investment comes in, your brand kind of gets slowly but surely gets watered down. The people that originally are, are were behind it kind of get a bit disillusioned with the whole thing and pull away and do something else but um i think so far so good um i'm not i don't think we've seen a real dip in the quality of supreme if anything the only thing that we have seen is that this over reliance on branding which kind of like goes into what the kind of kids want nowadays there's a lot of like supreme being splattered across places um in the near back in the day when sometimes they would have just probably put a little pull tab a little red tab on there or sometimes the tonal tab with supreme on there nowadays they're kind of opting for like really big branding on the back of shorts on the front of shorts maybe to kind of like you know maximize coverage on like street style websites and all that sort of stuff but you know that's the only part that i can really see has been a bit diluted but for the most part the things that i go to supreme for the basics and the outerwear are still some of the best and then another wild card that i think a lot of people don't really give chris supreme enough credit for are pants and trousers like they make really good jeans really good chinos really good uh chore trousers like paint or paint that kind of trousers they make they make really really good ones so um, there's a lot of stuff in the collection that I like. I'm going to highlight some bits and bobs I'm going to get up on the screen for you listening on the podcast. It's going to be a bit, um, what you call it? It won't be of any sense, but I'll kind of be able to try and be as descriptive as I can. So, um, looking on the preview of this site now, I think I like this trench. I like this. Um, of course, I like this. Um, what else? I'll click the things that I like and then kind of like talking to talk about them a little bit. So let's go into the first three things. So number one thing that I think is really nice and I would love to get in the Supreme Collection is a wool trench coat. So it's kind of comes in an orange and I think a black, right? Is it an orange or a black or an orange and a kind of charcoal color? And it looks fucking insane. Both colors are amazingly nice. Um, which is interesting because uh, they've been making, they've been taking a lot of things in house. I remember seeing an interview or reading an interview with J James Jebbia and he's kind of asking about why he works with the North Face. And the whole idea behind it was that um, the North Face are the experts of making uh, technical outerwear, right? So he'd rather go to someone who's an expert um, and work with them in order to produce something than produce a subpar version of it. But it seems like they've they're doing less and less of that nowadays they've kind of like taken a lot of things that they've kind of outsourced to other brands and bringing it in in-house for instance this trench they could easily have made it with scott they could have easily made it with um another what's the british brand macintosh or something they could easily made it with a, a host of other brands right but they've kind of kept it in-house which kind of goes to show that they're kind of you know their r d is getting a lot better and able to kind of produce things at a higher level especially different types of style of clothing and i think this trench looks fucking amazing so it's uh, Lorna, Lorna piano wall with power lining and buttons on the front and hem pockets lower. So I think it's really nice. The orange is probably my kind of go-to color. It kind of reminds me of a kind of a Raf Simmons sort of jacket because I think you can get that gray kind of color in most places again. Because I think, you know, if you're going to buy a Supreme jacket out of a piece, I think it's probably interesting to kind of get something that isn't, you don't really necessarily see from other brands. And I guess that kind of really amazing orange kind of color trench is something that you wouldn't see. I love this Scotch jacket because it reminds me of oh what's his fucking name and the, the former designer of number nine he's kind of got a similar sort of like he kind of does a similar sort of thing where he kind of uh cuts like cuts um he kind of like glues and patches things together from other jackets and makes them into other things so he'll get an ma1 and kind of like reconstruct it like turn sleeves inside out turn an in, inseam out uh put the sleeve upside down like those are really cool things i really like how this is made so it's kind of got like a leather waistcoat on the outside a leather down vest and uh, obviously a, a puffer jacket on the inside it looks fucking incredible if anything it's like a better version of the balenciaga puffer jacket a lot of people were wearing um a few seasons back um it looks really really cool again probably go for the yellow or if anything go for the gray just to kind of like mix it up a little bit so that, that was really nice um and next thing i would recommend I'd, or something that i want to really buy i think this is going to be my kind of got my kind of number one piece i'm going to try and get during this collection especially for the winter months is this gore-tex uh 700 phil dan parker 
it's something that they've done a few seasons um uh, a few seasons now so that kind of like what's it called is it a down is that it's that new york jacket that a lot of people it's kind of got a really big history in new york city because a lot of um, stick up boys were jacking people for these jackets back in the day um so they've now kind of made a version of, of, of their own which is incredibly puffy i think they've done a few they've done like a camera version that playboy carty wore in a video um recently or in a few videos ago they've got another another few versions i think a black version that kanye wore a few times before that and now they've got this version that's kind of comes in the green but again the only thing that i'm not a fan of is the fucking supreme on the back of the hood right the outline supreme is a little bit annoying but you know say la vie anything you have to kind of go with but i like both colors i like this color this kind of like uh dusty black which kind of reminds me of like rick owens or yeezy sort of like color palette but again i think if i had to go with it i'd have to probably go for the green um just to kind of you know differentiate the kind of color scheme but i think it looks amazing it kind of oh it comes in black as well actually so that would be an interesting kind of piece to kind of pick up i'm not sure which one i'd go for but those three jackets looking fucking insane i love them both um those that was my pick what else has been something i've been interested in of course the long sleeves are really nice there's this is pretty a little bit of a wild card i thought it was really cool too this um these two actually put the vest and this is an interesting piece too because this has been that again goes proves my point that maybe supreme have really upped the ante with their whole r d and they've kind of got a lot better at making their own thing this jacket could easily be a collab with um stone island right um this reflective camo down jacket um a reflective printed poly with down feel and a full zip closure packable hood with hand pockets and a lower front and jacket logo zipper and a tape at uh, the hood so it looks a lot like something that um, Stone Island would happily make for Supreme, but they've kind of brought it in house. So it's a kind of basically a free M, a reflective uh, down jacket in camo, right? Which looks a lot like a lot, a lot like the stuff like uh, Stone Island would do. Um, so again, it maybe go to show that maybe they're limiting, they're kind of like pulling back on the on the collabos. Maybe for since the investment, they're kind of um, focusing on developing their own line of stuff instead of like collaborating and splitting the profits. I'm not too sure, but this looks really nice. I, I like this. I think a lot of the kids are going to be a fan of this. Um, this vest is really cool too. The Guns um, shop vest. Again, these vests that Supreme make are always a no-brainer. They fit really well. Nice real boxy fit in them. So if, you, if you're someone that is a fan of wearing the whole vest with a t-shirt and big um, dickies and a pair of vans or some Converse, that's probably a thing for you to go for. Um, and again, this um, snowflake toggle fleece jacket. Again, snowflake jacket. I'm not sure if it's like a political uh, theme upon that, like calling people snowflakes and stuff, but I like this piece. It's another really interesting piece about it. Again, um, the logo branding on the front chest is probably something that I'm not a fan of. I think in years gone by, this probably wouldn't have been there, but you know, something you, something you have to kind of live with. And again, nice colors. I think it looks really nice, really comfy sort of piece. And a couple of other pieces before I kind of wrap up. It would be, oh, why did I forget this? Fucking quilted flannel. I've got a lot of these things, right? I'm sure a lot of people would probably uh, cringe at the fact that I'm checking out another flannel, right? But I'm going to click that. And I'm also going to click, um, I'm also going to click some hats, What's hat that I saw that I really liked? I'm actually going to steal this as an, as an idea for something I want to do, right? So I saw these trooper hats I thought were really cool. And I also saw... And I also thought this was really nice too. Where is it? The one with the quotes on the front. Where is that hat here? Can I find it? I'm not sure everyone else does the same thing I do when I look at this list. But I like to look at them all like this as a whole bunch. And of course... Yeah, so let me stick to that and I'll go to the miscellaneous items. So, number one, other thing that I liked here was uh, the pile lined flannel uh, flannel shirt and um, this quilted shirt. Right? I've now got a few of these things and Balenciaga made one that I still haven't worn yet. I'm waiting to wear during the winter months, but these things are amazing. They've got, they've got snap buttons, right, instead of um, actual buttons on them, so it's going to be nice to wear. The pile lining um, colors of the flannel are pretty nice. I'll probably go for the purple. To kind of mix things up purple or this green in the middle or purple is actually orange those are two of my favorite colors there right so that's really nice the pile lining that they kind of use the same sometimes they use a the pile for use it in coach jackets and things um and then they've got the quilted uh padded shirt that looks a little bit familiar um to like the looks a little bit more similar to the balenciaga flannel shirt but maybe a little bit more of a dyed out wash on the whole tartan itself really really nice again a uh, pattern and the colors look amazing i'd probably again go for that um, the kind of this color at the front, this color at the back here, they're sort of like washed out blue and then kind of probably this black as well, kind of go for that. But they look really, really nice. I have to, I have to really say, um, I'm not sure if it's like, a, it's like a straight. There's no, yeah, I like how they do it at the bottom too. This, it doesn't have the loop, it's just kind of cut straight, which I really like as well. Um, and then this cardigan is really nice, plaid front zip flannel. Um, I'm sure a lot of the 
those kind of ASAP NAS guys will probably wear this kind of thing. It's really, it looks really comfy. I like this thing. It reminds me of a jumper that I bought from Uniqlo back in the day that I lost a kind of little fleece that I had. But I like the kind of collar it's got at the top. So that would be something that I'm sure would be quite popular with kids because I'm not sure that whole granny look is really in it. That whole 90s granny look with big Levi's and Converse and shit. So I might be in. Um, and then obviously the Gore-Tex Trooper jackets, um, the Gore-Tex Trooper hats to match the jackets look fucking insane. Um, I'm so I'm I'm bummed they didn't make uh, the down jacket actually the 700 in this pattern. This looks really cool, isn't it? They didn't put it in this pattern. Maybe it's gonna come out later, or maybe they couldn't make it. Um, they couldn't get the level of quality that they wanted, and that's, they decided not to put it in production. Or maybe we're gonna see it later down the line. But the trip hats always look good. I've got a couple of them. I've lost a couple actually, so it might be time to reinvest in one. And there's something that fit my big head. And of course, fitting, talking about big heads, these snapback um, mesh caps are looks amazing, man. Um, with uh, John 316 quotes on the front of the mesh kind of foam back of it. They look really cool. And I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jack this idea and make it for my own brand and put kind of like stoic quotes on the front of this. So if you see me making them, yes, I'm copying Supreme. Yes, I'm copying Supreme. Anyway, moving on to um, miscellaneous items because these are some of the things that a lot of people like as well with Supreme. They talk about quite often. Number one, I like the backpack. I like the bike. Um, what else I like? I like the scales, of course. Um, I like the marker. And last but not least, I think that might be it for now. Yeah, let me just go on those things. This. So uh, the backpack looks great. I've kind of not bought a Supreme backpack in a long time because I usually make an effort to try and buy some on Yahoo JP and buy like old school backpacks like, you know, the... Um, 40 Thieves ones, you know, that kind of those kind of legendary backpacks, kind of like you can kind of buy a lot of those things new for under £200, which is fucking amazing uh, price for something that's going to last you, you know, decades and decades. But this backpack is really nice. I really like the look of it. I'm not sure what that sign is there. If that's a logo, if that's like a collab or just their new logo for backpacks. What does it say on the description? The backpack dimensions Polynate VX2 R4S 41 Oh, it's a fabric. Maybe it's a fabric um, collaboration they do work with. With free and reflective printed on the logo and front panel. This looks really nice. I like the look of it. Again, I'll probably go for the purple just to kind of mix things up a little bit because I've had a black pack, a black backpack for most of my life. Um, and then of course the the bike looks super cool, right? I'm sure a lot of people are gonna try get their hands on the on the bike. It's probably gonna be bucks, right? Maybe a couple of grand. But it looks really really cool as well. Supreme Santa Cruz Chameleon. Is this is this the kind of bike that those kids in the city ride to do uh, when they're gonna do wheelies and shit, or is this like a real like mountain bike? I'm not sure, but it looks really cool. I'm not really a fan of these kind of jumpy jumpy bikes in general, by the way. But you know, it looks nice. I like it. Um, and then of course the scales, man. For anyone you know, for anyone that's about this life, and you know, I'm sure some of us have a few of these scales dotting around our house that we used to measure loads of herbs and spices this is fucking cool like only supreme could do something like this man jeremy is so so amazing definitely something i'm going to try and get my hands on and then last but not least the marker pens in an era where everyone's kind of marking their shoes and coloring them and writing quotes on the side of their shoes a la tom Sachs and virgil abloh these are going to be something that's going to be probably really popular a lot of people are they permanent markers yeah they're permanent markers so they're going to be a lot popular with a lot of people so you're not going to be able to write on the board with them but loads of things for supreme i'm think i'm pretty sure the first drop is going to be this friday i think so right let me go back to the news and see what they say about it i'm pretty sure it's this friday right everything's dropping the the, the question will be available in japan and 18th and online the 25th oh, it's gonna be no it's gonna be available the season our shop will reopen on monday the 20th of august in the us and eu okay cool that's all right and we can resume resume on Thursday. That's nice. So everything's dropping. Everything's coming out soon. They've got lookbook, which I haven't actually checked out to see what looks great because I don't actually care about lookbook anymore these days. Not sure if anyone who does anyone still check the lookbook out. I don't really, but yeah, everything looks really nice. I like that again. The tre the trench looks really cool. As always, I like that graphic on the back of that jacket. Yeah, that Scott jacket is fucking hard as balls, mate. Hard as balls. Scotch and that Scotch kind of leather jacket. Um, puffer leather that's really cool I love that tracksuit the down jacket is going to get cropped doesn't look as puffy as it should do in there does it but I'm sure it's going to be okay um, yeah loads of cool pieces as always man Supreme always smash it when it comes to autumn winter that's that's their like go to season so if you're a big fan of theirs and I'm assuming you will be aware of this and you're going to go buy something if not then maybe you won't care and you're going to say what are these kids fucking doing but you're missing out of course 